Hey guys, so I have a face mask on right now. I'm using the Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Mask. It's my first time trying it. It says it's for brightness and radiance, so we'll see. I recently tried the Bliss Mint Chip one and I really like that. I picked both of them up at the same time off of Amazon. They were really good prices, so if anybody wants to check them out, they are on there. I believe they were both under $10. I think even under $8. Something like that. But, oh, and I'm wearing my Free Britney shirt. I'm very angry about the news that came out after Britney's testimony in court. Um, I thought her testimony was amazing. The fact that she's finally spoken up about the mistreatment and abuse that she's been put through for the last 13 years and for the judge to rule against what she was saying is just heartbreaking. I believe the judge is a woman. So to hear and know what another woman is going through and for you to just dismiss it, it's shitty. Um, I fully 120,000% believe Brittany. Um, I definitely think her dad paid off the judge. Uh, well, Brittany paid off the judge because it's Brittany's money that her dad is using because he doesn't have a job and make his own money. He has to mooch off of his daughter who has worked her whole life and can't even use her own money. Um, I really hate Brittany's dad uh, and her team. I, I just don't understand how all of these people they obviously care more about getting money than actually being there for Britney and helping Britney and caring about Britney. I feel like us fans care more about Britney and what she's going through than her own family, her own friends, her own team. I say this because if, if they're her team, they should be there for her and speak up for her and help her and nobody is doing any of that. I feel very strongly about this Free Britney thing, so I'm sorry if I go on this big rant about it. I just, I grew up loving Britney. Um, ever since she first came out, I was obsessed. I've always loved her. I was a big NSYNC girl and Britney girl, and the fact that her and Justin Timberlake dated was so perfect because I loved NSYNC so much and Justin was my favorite. They were like the most beautiful couple and you know I've only I only heard about what was going on with Britney because of Sloan here on YouTube. It's SL04N. Go watch his videos. He has a ton of videos about Britney. He has a ton of videos about a lot of subjects that it brings a lot of light to Hollywood and you know, like growing up I watched Nickelodeon and to find out the majority of my favorite kids shows was run by like this creepy dude and you know that some of the people on the shows that I liked were creepy dudes and then like Amanda Bynes is also in a conservatorship and I grew up loving Amanda Bynes. It's just sad and scary. But yeah, I know all about it because of Sloan. I like stumbled upon his videos and he's become one of my favorite like commentators on YouTube. He's really the only- I watch a couple of people, but he's the one that I really like. I'll watch any video he puts up, even if it's about people I don't really follow or know who they are, just because I really like Sloan. But yeah, I first saw videos about Britney. I'm like, what is this about her being in a conservatorship? I don't understand. You know, she's got all this money. She's Britney Spears. She should be able to do what she wants, but doesn't matter. doesn't matter how famous she is. doesn't matter how much money she has because her father is in control of everything. And I wish there was something that we all, as her fans, could do. I mean, I know there's this Free Britney movement and even celebrities are in on it now and I'm so glad. Like, Mar Mariah Carey, 
um, the Kardashians, like all these people are tweeting about Free Britney and I wish they, like being celebrities, I wish they could like pool together enough money to like pay off Britney's dad to like just let her be free because she's a 39 year old woman and she's being treated like a child. She's been overworked. She's been exploited, heavily medicated, silenced for all of these years. She was forced to have an IUD put in her so that she can't get pregnant. She would love to have more kids and be able to get married and she's not allowed to. She's she's 39 years old. She's being treated like a damn child. Um, Seriously, I get really worked up about this. I know I don't know her personally, and a lot of you might be like, oh, she's a celebrity, who cares? But she's a human being, and she's been stripped of her human rights, her rights as a citizen of America, her rights as a woman. You know, she can't even make her own decision about having a baby or not. She, Her team won't let her go get this IUD taken out because they don't want her having any more kids, but that's not their... It's not up to them to make that decision. It's up to Brittany. It's her body. Her choice. <sighs> but I love this shirt. I got it off of eBay. And I will link it below. I believe it was just under like 20 bucks. And I don't usually pay those kind of prices for a shirt. But I had to have this. I wanted a free Brittany shirt. And this one's just my favorite. I love the photo of her. And I like that the free Brittany's in red. But... I just, I do feel very strongly about this because she's a human being who doesn't deserve to be treated the way she's being treated. She's, and she's such a queen and I don't, like, she's, but she's like a sweet person. She's not just like this superstar diva who's like a bitch, like she's actually a very sweet person. No, I don't know her personally, no I never met her, but you can just tell like in her interviews and in like behind the scenes type of things with her like she is so sweet and like just goofy and a normal person and all she wants is to be a mom to her two boys and to maybe have a third or even fourth baby and to get married and you know even her boyfriend Sam um, the day of her court hearing he was wearing a free Britney shirt as well and I really wish there was something he could do to help her but there's not and that makes me so mad they've been together like four or five years he's very cute <laughs> like but he's the lucky one to have Brittany and Brittany is she's Brittany bitch <sighs> I just I can't believe I've gone all these years not knowing about the situation and I feel so terrible for back in the day when Brittany had that mental breakdown and she shaved her head I joined in on the people that made fun of her, not like necessarily making fun of her in a mean way. I was just like, oh my god, she shaved her head, blah blah blah, you know? But back then, in like 06, 07, people weren't talking about mental health the way they are today. Mental health, it was like, I guess this taboo thing you just didn't talk about. So she was going through, you know, postpartum depression. She had just had two babies back to back and was in the middle of a custody battle and divorce from Kevin Federline. Of course she was going through some shit. And, you know, the whole world just put her down and made her feel even worse about herself because she shaved her head and, and she hit paparazzi's cars with an umbrella which honestly I would have done the same thing if I was going through that dealing with the custody battle just having some babies and my ex-husband's trying to take them away from me and these people just wouldn't leave me the hell alone I would have been hitting them with umbrellas not just their cars I would have been in jail but Brittany is a bigger person than that and all she did was hit this guy's car okay honestly like wouldn't you do the same if people were bombarding you I mean yes she's a celebrity but at the same time the paparazzi people need to learn to have boundaries because I'm sure they wouldn't want 
to be in that position themselves where they're the ones constantly being photographed in their worst moments or like their their own children being photographed in their worst moments for the world to see I don't care how much money they were getting paid for photos it's not enough it would not be enough for me to do that to a human being but yeah I'm telling you guys like I'm totally free Britney um, I hate her dad I, I love the quote, not quote, but it's like a meme, it's like, good morning to everyone but Britney Spears' dad. I'm like, I feel like that every single day, like, F you, Jamie Spears. And even her little sister, you know, and I'm, I'm sitting here like, where is her mom in all of this? I know her parents are divorced, but why isn't her mom trying to help Britney? Why isn't her mom fighting her dad against this conservatorship and trying everything she can to get Jamie out of this conservatorship and to free her daughter what where the hell is she and then her little sister is in cahoots with the woman that helped put britney into the conservatorship it's so frustrating and then jamie lynn spears comes out and she's like oh i i want what's best for my sister and blah 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 no you don't because you are also benefiting from britney's money and that's all these people care about like her her own family only cares about her money she's a cash cow to them and that's all it is like if Brittany were my older sister she's the same age as my older sister if Brittany were my sister I'd be telling my dad to F off like if my dad was doing this to my sister but no no like why is nobody helping her I pray every night that something happens that Britney will be free one day. I'm so shocked that she's still here. And I don't mean that in like a, you know, like I would never want anything to happen to her or for her to like do anything. But like she's so strong. And when you go back and listen to her songs from all those years ago, like everything makes so much sense. Her song Stronger um, her song, oh my god, it's been stuck in my head all day, um, Overprotected, Toxic, her family's toxic, her dad's toxic, I mean, like, go back and listen to the words in all of her songs, like, she really has been, like, trying to tell us through her music for all of these years, and none of us knew, and all of us are going back and listening to her music, and we're like, it makes sense. She's literally been telling us through her songs about all of this shit that's going on, but now we understand and now, you know, obviously I can't be out there like rallying with these people in the Free Britney movement because that's in California, but if I were in California, I would be out there with signs, I'd be wearing my shirt every day, I'd be having shirts made for every day of the week for, for freeing Britney. You guys probably don't care about this. I just, I, I'm very opinionated on it. I'm very, you know, involved. I, I just, I know I don't know her personally, but I mean, even so, she's a human being that does not deserve to be going through this. I mean, even if she were a diva and a bitch she still wouldn't deserve to be going through this, but she's not. She's literally a humble, sweet, goofy, normal girl who just happens to be a megastar. <laughs> and the whole reason she was put into this conservatorship is because she had dementia. Okay. So she was what, like 26 or something when she got put into this conservatorship? At 26, she has dementia, but was doing world tours, Vegas residencies, and she was on The X Factor on national TV, but she has dementia. Okay, Jan. I j How is it legal for this to continue to go on? How is it okay? For somebody to have their rights as an American citizen, as a human being, as a woman, to be stripped away from them with without 
repercussions to the people doing this? Like, how is it okay? How is her dad not in jail, in prison, for doing this? How is it legal to get away with this? You know, Brittany may have mental issues. Of course she has mental issues after all of this, after what her family has done to her, after what the world has done to her since none of us even understood what was happening for so long. But that that's no means for a conservatorship. I have mental problems. I have very, very bad anxiety. You know, social anxiety, health-related anxiety, anxiety, generalized anxiety, driving anxiety. Honestly, I'm messed up. And I have depression. But I don't need a conservatorship. I mean, honestly, though, it might help with my spending money. Just kidding. Kind of. But even if, like, Brittany did need help with, like, controlling her money, like, it's her money. She's worked so hard for it her entire life. She should be allowed to spend it however she wants. Like, she's a millionaire. She wants to go buy a puppy, like, let her go buy a puppy. If she wants to go on vacation, let her freaking go on vacation. I just, oh my god, it just really angers me. I think it's about time to take this off. I think it said 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and bask in your radiance. Use two to three times per week. I just felt like I needed to vent because... I keep, like, venting to my mom. She's been here visiting, and, like, I'm, like, telling her all this stuff about Britney Spears, and she's just like, okay. Like, I need other people who love Britney as much as I do to talk to about this, because, and I'm, I'll even, like, be texting my sister, like, I'm so pissed off about this, and, you know, I try to explain the whole situation that Britney's in to my sister, and... It's hard when, like, she's so, she works all the time, so I don't really get to talk to her on the phone. So it's hard to constantly, like, text somebody about it. But, like, I also just need people who actually love Brittany the way that I do and understand the situation that she's in so I can, like, talk to them about it and be angry with other people about it because it would just make me feel better that other people feel the same way I do. But I have a friend on Instagram. I'm so glad I met her. Like, we just bonded over everything. Her name is Brianna. It could be Brianna. I, I should ask her how she pronounces her name because I, I, people mispronounce my name all the time. They call me Diane. My name is Diana. There's an A at the end, not an E. I am not a Diane. So don't ever call me Diane. But anyway, um, and she also loves Brittany and so like we're always like talking about the situation. So it is nice to have somebody that gets it but like I need somebody like in my real life that I can just like go to and be like oh my god because then I do this to my fiance too and he's just like I don't care I mean he's a guy I'm sure when he was younger he probably thought Britney Spears was hot I mean what guy didn't in the late 90s early 2000s when Britney was you know the hottest thing she's still freaking hot um she's probably like my one true girl crush if I were to have a girl crush, it would be Britney Spears. I, I love Jennifer Aniston too, but like, she's got nothing on Britney, okay? Um, but like, I'll be like telling my fiance, like, oh my god, the judge ruled against Britney after all this, and he's just like, and I'm supposed to do what about it? I'm like, I just need to vent. So I just had to like, come on here and, and talk about it because it's truly eating at me like there's nothing I can do to help her and all I want is to be able to help her and I pray and pray that God just does something good and and lets Brittany be free and you know what it's always been a dream of mine to see her live if she decides to never perform again which she has said that she will not perform ever again while her dad is you know controlling her I'd be okay with her never performing again as long as she was living her life free, able to see her kids, able to have more babies and get married and be happy. That's all that matters. But I would absolutely love if she would perform again, even if it is just in Vegas, because I would drag my fiance to Vegas to see Britney Spears with me because it is a lifelong dream of mine. 
I got to see NSYNC, that was my first concert, and I'm just saying, Justin Timberlake totally waved at me. Oh my god, I was so obsessed. I had my Justin Timberlake shirt on, I probably had my bandana on because I wore a bandana because of Justin Timberlake, and Destiny's Child opened for them, so technically I've seen Beyonce, like, what? But yeah, I, I would love to see Britney perform, whether it's in Vegas or whatever, but you know what? If she chooses to never perform again, that's, that is her prerogative, because she just deserves to live happily, whether that's working, whether that's having babies, living on an island somewhere far away from everybody and everything, like, I want her to do what is best for her as soon as she's able to. And I, I just, I can't even believe I'm sitting here talking about this because she's a 39 year old woman. She will be 40 in December because my sister will be 40 in October, Brittany's only a couple months after her. My sister was like, she's younger than me? I'm like, by a couple of months. Like, you guys are the same age. But she was like, oh, she's younger than me? Okay. I don't know, age doesn't bother me. Like, I remember when my sister was, uh, like, very close to turning 30, she was freaking out. And I'm over here like, woo, I'm about to be 30. Like, I was excited to get out of my 20s. Um, now... Now that I'm 31, sounds so weird. I can't even believe, like, I, I still feel like a, ch a child. I, I feel like a kid. I look like a kid. I don't look like I'm 31, but I, I don't know. Now that I am in my 30s, I think I'm slowly starting to not like aging like I don't know how to explain this it worries me to start getting older just because like so many people in my family have like gotten cancer and passed away and to me like they were still young like my grandpa passed away when he was 66 from lung cancer my grandma did get cancer she did beat it though she did not pass away from cancer my dad got cancer and he was had just was about to turn 62 you know so I'm starting to get scared of aging because I think I'm afraid that cancer like runs in my family or something and that like when I get to a certain age I'm going to get it as well and I pray that's not the case but so far like I'm totally chill being in my 30s still feel like a kid but full ass adult and it sucks adulting is not fun but, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> I'm gonna get this off my face now. I keep wanting to, like, rest my, my face and my hands, and I can't do that. So, I'm gonna take off this, and, uh, if my mom is off the phone, probably go watch an episode or two of Lucy with her, and then we'll see how I feel. Um, and maybe I'll put makeup on, even though I did just do this mask, to, like, make my face all nice and clean, and feel good um maybe i'll do a video tonight i've been wanting to do a video so we'll see but i don't even know what time it is right now i think it's close to midnight but i'm gonna go thanks for listening to me rant and rave about britney's conservatorship and that whole situation again i'm very passionate about it um, you can't tell me <laughs> otherwise, like, if you don't care about it, like, that's fine. I, I get that. Some people really don't care about it. But, like, don't come at me with, like, oh, well, she's just a celebrity or she blah, 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 because I don't care. <laughs> she's a human being, you know, above all, and she does not deserve to be going through what she's going through. <sighs> so there's that. I gotta get this off my face, because now I'm, like, starting to itch and I can't scratch it with all this on. So, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!